what's up, I'm Natal to Doom here doing a new video review for you guys, and this time we are reviewing my mock, which is clicks! Yay! <laughs> uh, basically, a lot of people seem to be unhappy with this mock. Some people seem to like it, some people don't. Um, let me tell you this, though, she is not a ripoff of Larnu's mock. I know there is a huge comparison with the color scheme and the rack she had and the fact that it's a female. And hell, I think the eye colors are both the exact same. But uh, no, this is not a ripoff of that mock. Let me just tell you that right up front, it is not a ripoff of that mock. So yeah, hope everything is cleared and out of the air with that because I want to review this. Now! Let me tell you this, it seems like no matter how many times I say this, someone's going to do it anyways, but here goes nothing. This universe that I'm creating for these mocks doesn't take place in the fictional universe that is what Bionicle is doing currently, or the Generation 1 version. So with that said, there are going to be differences. There are going to be alterations because this is not that universe. This is a whole different universe, all right? It might have Tahu, Gali, blah blah blah, it might have Makuta in it, but it is still a different universe. It's non-traditional. It's not traditional, okay? Let me tell you that it's not traditional. So if I want to say that this Toa is also a Rakshi and also a Makuta, guess what? I will call it that because I don't give a shit. This, and I'm saying this with all due respect, this is not the traditional universe. This is something else. So please, enough with saying like, oh, this doesn't work because original canon. It's not original canon, okay? I'm not saying, you know, you can't nitpick about whatever, but what I am saying, and I'm trying to make this as clear as possible so that at least you can keep this in mind whenever you have to say something, this is not a traditional universe. Thank you. Also, no matter how many times I say this, someone's going to say otherwise, but I use spare parts. I use spare sets and I use spare parts. Where I get the spare sets? Well, uh, some people have sent me like uh, sets for my birthday and stuff like that that I already own, so I use the parts to do whatever. Um, and also I buy some uh, sets twice, like the current Gurok set. I know I'm rambling a lot on this review, but I need to say a lot of stuff. Um, like the Gurok set, because a lot of the parts were broken on that set, so I decided to get a whole new one instead of just replace the broken parts. So anyways, with that said, that's where I get my parts to make these mocks. I don't have a huge amount of parts. I have about four bins, and in those bins could probably fill up half of one of the bins. That's it. That's all I have to work with. So thank you for the comments saying, oh, I don't like the arms or I don't like the whatnot. There isn't much I can do otherwise. Trust me, I've looked around. I tried. So anyways, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at her herself. Now, I will agree with some people that the arms are bare, but at the same time, I do kind of like them. Um, I especially love the little weapons on the bottom of the arms. I think they're actually kind of cool. Um, what I don't like all too much is the legs. Now, you might complain about the armor pieces. I want to get the silver Viserac pieces, um, you know, the, uh, the feet pieces or the black feet pieces to put on that instead, um, because I'm not a big fan of these, but, um, I'd rather put those on than have it blank, because honestly, having it blank doesn't really look that great. Um, thinking of replacing the feet, but I like these feet for right now, so I'm just gonna leave those on. Um, also, other stuff, other stuff. Oh yeah, she is basic. Like, a lot of people call her basic because, uh, 
Because she is, basically. Uh, she has the rack she had, she's got the Nuva chest, which pro I I'm just going to say, please do not complain about the Rakshi chest, okay? Or, I'm sorry, the Nuva chest shield. Let me try that again. The Nuva chest armor stuff, okay? Please don't complain about that because, well, it is what it is, honestly. Um, so, yeah. Um... So yeah, it is kind of traditional, but I also had this concept a while back. It's not like this was just like, oh, I'm going to take that person's design and completely just build a, a set from that. This was something to where, like, I, I had inspiration for it from a number of sets, you know, a couple of basic sets, but uh, I, I just wanted to do it, honestly. I wanted to give my own twist to it, so I decided to... Um, anyways, I also changed up the Rakshi head with adding some spikes, because I thought that'd be a little bit better, and quite honestly, I like the look of that. Okay, and you do that then. <laughs> um, but quite honestly, I like the look of that, so I decided to add them on. I might take those off, because they like to fall apart. Speaking of fall apart, they use, uh, she used on the neck, um, the old ball joints that fall apart, so I gotta get the new ones for that, but uh, fortunately the joint in her waist is not that piece, so it doesn't fall apart that easily, so that is good. Um, take this thing what you will, I know people are going to complain about it, but this chest piece also does move, it's, it's just because to get it to stay in place it needed to be on the joint, so yeah. Plus also I can have it downwards instead of just like, ugh. Oops. Instead of just like straight out like this, kind of protruding like that, I, I, I kind of don't like that look. So I decided to have it on a joint so that I can bring it down and um, it's not sticking out all the way so she doesn't look like a whore. A whore? Anyways. Uh, there are some things that I, would, I do, of course, want to change up on this figure, but again, I don't have the right parts. It's It's been on my mind that, yes, I could swap out this, I could swap out that, but again, I don't have the right parts to do so, so I'm waiting on those parts. Anyways, let's also take a look at this. This is a sniper, because she doesn't actually have an element. Uh, the reason why she's the Toa Frostbite is because she attacks from the snowdrifts. Uh, or something. I don't know. I, again, it's not solid. Nothing is solid with the storyline. I'm not even sure if there is going to be a storyline, so nothing is solid. Um, so people will complain like, oh, that doesn't make sense. Well, give it time. I'll try and come up with something, but please, for the time, I'm just kind of like, you know, just kind of like opening my mind to like, oh, this could work, that could work. Um, just, I'm, I'm trying to give you guys something so that it's not just like, hey, here's a mock. But at the same time, I also kind of shouldn't announce anything story-wise because that probably, like, take it down a couple of notches. But I am also trying some stuff out and seeing how the public would take it. Yeah, it's very confusing what I'm saying. But yes, she has a sniper rifle. I thought it'd be cool because uh, if she works in the snow... And there's a blizzard, this could be a thermal sniper scope thing, so that could really help out with what she is doing. Also, she has the Nuva Kapaka blade on her arm. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, basically, I didn't have any of the shells, so I had to... Th these were like the only things that I could stick on, so I just tried to put some stuff onto those. And I had a Kapaka Nuva blade that I decided to put on. And also, uh, this little gun thing that I wanted to do. Actually, I think it was an accident. I uh, just wanted to fill that out so that at least it's not just like, hey, here's a, a piece sticking up on her arm. But uh, it, it kind of forms as a gun, so I kept it as uh, that. I thought that was kind of cool, so I decided to keep that to her so that she can, she can shoot stuff. She is also a very depressing character because, again, she does not know what she is exactly. She could be a Rakshi, but she has no Krata. She could be a Toa, but she doesn't have a mask. Or does she? What, what is this face? Is it a mask? I don't know. The Makuta is working mysterious. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, so, yeah. 
it's not all solid and whatnot. This is just a concept. This is not final. And also, the world that I'm working on is not traditional. So thank you for the comments referring to like, Oh, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. It's not supposed to right now. It's just like I'm kind of throwing out stuff to kind of see how that works. At some point in time, I'll probably get a solid story and say, Well, actually, uh, ignore everything that I've said before. This is going to be the new canon. There she is with sunglasses. It's going to be very confusing. Hopefully I'll try and not make it as confusing as it has been. If you want a size comparison, here is the Total Doom Total 4-Track. So there you go, if you guys wanted to see that. There you go. Who is this? Is it boyfriend, girlfriend? Who knows? Yeah, people were, uh, I should also mention this, people were saying that Akana and Vor Vortrak were supposed to, like, hook up or something like that, because I, that was my first female mock, and people were like, oh my god, this is like a boyfriend, girlfriend type thing. Actually, it was her that I was intending for, uh, which you're probably going like, brother, sister, Makuta, Toa's, that doesn't make sense either. That's kind of disgusting. How does that work in the world? Non-traditional. Thank you. Anyways, so anyways, anyways, that is her. I hope that I cleared up some stuff. And I hope that you guys can take some patience. Please be very patient with me. I'm getting tired that some people are not being patient with me. Because again, as I keep saying, it's only a concept, nothing is for real, I have a flashlight, your argument is invalid. So anyways, that is pretty much it, I thank you guys for watching, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all fun to do that. Wait, this is my fifth Toakuta, doesn't that mean we gotta reveal the sixth? Well, I do have a sixth mock, that's already up, um, that, or I shouldn't say already up, it's already built. It has been previewed on the TTV boards, if you search up for this mock and uh, the article for it, uh, you will see in one of the photos, you will see him in the background. Or you can go onto my Facebook page and you'll see a better picture of him uh, in the uh, banner uh, Facebook thing, so there you go. But later on today, or tomorrow, or whenever, when this video is posted, I will post a video of that uh, Scorch Mock, that's what I'm calling it right now, the Scorch Mock, and then uh, the next day, or on that day, or whatever, I will also review it so that you guys can ask questions and whatnot, and then I can clear the air on some stuff, because uh, that that's actually kind of the reason why I did some of these reviews, like uh, ProHeek, some people who are confused on the uh, torso, um, Akana, I wanted to uh, rebuild the, the uh, mask. And uh, him, uh, it's not exactly clear his venom powers right now, but um, I have some of the small, oh, I have some of uh, the small Viserax that I can work with, so maybe I'll add something to him. But again, she is not final. I can't say that she's final. In fact, with the video with the photos, she's actually different because these um, teeth pieces were actually sticking up this way and not down. So there is that. Anyway, so that is pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. It's fun to do this. And I'll see you guys next time.